Hello? Hello, Juan? Oh, there you go. My microphone wasn't working. How's it going, Juan? Claudia, welcome. How are you? How was your day today? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Thanks for asking. Um, today's our last day here. Right. Yeah. So, um, so, so, okay. So while we wait for everybody else, all right, tell me, how are you doing with the platform so far? How, how's everything? How what? Sorry. Did, did you finish the platform? Yep. You did? Good evening. Yeah, hey, I good finished. evening. Yeah. All right. All right. Very good. Uh, did you pass it or or did you have any answers uh, without? I mean, did you Teacher, have any? I don't think it yet in the platform. Okay. Which one are you missing? One? Which which uh, section are you missing? Uh, I need to have with section five. Okay. All right, section five and and the final exam too. Is the five no after after it? Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. Anyway, so is, uh -huh. is such a um, uh, Five point five. Five point five. Okay. All right. I think we went over that one yesterday. Okay. So let's uh go over it real quick, guys. All right. Thank you guys for coming. All right. Uh, to our last day together, real quick. Okay. So, all right. So this is section five. And then the, this over here, right? All right, so you said 5.5, .5, this one? Uh, yes, it is. All right, so what What do you think the answer is here? One thing I would be excited by. Mm -hmm. All right, and then it says, is, lo is local the trying food, right? So you have to sort this out. So how would you sort it out? I'm, I'm going to help you. Trying the local food. Okay. Like that. All right. So that should be the answer for number one. What about uh, this, guys? Would be the most curious about the thing? I. The thing. What is the answer, guys? The thing I would be, right? I would be the most curious about is, well, about, and then it says is meeting people, right? Okay. All right. So, all right. And then, you know, number three would be what? Something I will be anxious about is all right yes okay something i would be anxious about is right so something i would be anxious about is not understanding the language right very good so these are the answers okay very good guys so guys all right let's have the last uh let's continue with the class guys uh does anybody else need help guys with the answers from the platform Did you get it, uh, Eric Juan? Uh, I did in the first part, the 5.1. 5. 5.1? Uh, no, the other one. The other one, 5.5? Yes. 5.5 is the, the one we just we just did. Okay. Yes. Um. So it's... I don't know which screen you're seeing right now. Hold on. Mm -hmm. So this, this right here, right? So one thing, you just have to sort this out, right? 
mm -hmm. thing I would be excited by is trying the local food. The thing I would be the most curious about is meeting new people my new age. Just sort them out, right? Something I would be anxious about is not understanding the language, okay? All right, very good, guys. So anyways, okay, this class is going to be recorded, right? So you can see the answers. We answered these, these questions yesterday, all right? Also, the assessment, guys, okay? Um, if you have questions about the final exam, we can answer them today, right? Everything else, guys, is recorded, and you can watch it online, okay? We're going to move on with the class, but uh, please, guys, okay, if you need anything, please watch any class that you missed online, okay? All right, very good. So, Alexander, those are the answers, okay? So, guys, uh, let's talk about uh, – we're going to continue talking about clauses, guys, okay? So, now we're going we're gonna to get to the part where we know – now we know, guys, what relative clauses are, right? Right? So relative clauses are what, guys? How do you identify? How do you identify a relative clause? Tell me. <coughs> How would you identify it? Um Uh, use the uh, who wish. Yes, right. Who's. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. Okay. So now, guys, let's talk about noun phrases. Okay. Now, when I say noun, guys, noun phrase, right? Think about this. Okay. Well, first of all, what is a noun? What is a noun, guys? Give me. Can you give me an example of a noun? Alexander. All right. Uh, what would be an example of a noun? Yeah. Red can be what? no. What? A color. Okay, so the word color. Okay, yeah, color mm -hmm. is a noun, right? Very good. Juan Linares, what el what else is a noun? I don't know. I don't know. The what? I'm sorry. Cheyenne, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, don't forget about Chan, guys, okay? All right, Claudia, what else is a noun? Um, Something, uh, I don't know, I think specific, specifically. Like, like what? Mm. A dog, maybe. Okay, so we have, it could be a dog, okay, right? A car, all right. We could be Cheyenne, right? It could be they. Is this a noun? Can they be a noun? No. No, this is a pronoun, right? Not a noun, okay? So that is not a noun, okay? So everything, guys, everything that represents something that you can talk about, is a noun, okay? Anything that you can talk about is a noun, okay? All right, that you can refer to, all right? So notice something, guys. Um, now, what is a phrase? A phrase is just a group of words, right? A phrase is a group of words, all right? So a noun phrase, guys, is, okay, it's a group of words that works as a noun, okay? It's like, um, put it like this, guys, okay? All right, if you could replace this with something, right? You could replace it with, for example, you could say that, right? Could I say that, guys? That is my brother's car? Yes. yes. I could say that is my brother's car. I could say it. Could I say it is my brother's car? Could I say that? No. Yes, you can say it is my brother's yes. car, right? Yep. Yep. You could say, all right, you could say uh, the, the Chevrolet, right? The Chevrolet, I think it's spelling, the Chevrolet is my brother's car. Could I say this, yes or no? Yes. Yes, right? So let me ask you something. All right, the Chevrolet is what, guys? In grammar, what is the Chevrolet? 
A noun. Very good. So this is a noun, okay? So guys, all right, why why is it, I mean, why, what is the, the structure of a noun, right? You have the noun plus the verb be plus the complement, right? All right, so check this out. One thing I like to have, all right, and then you, you don't say it is, okay? No, you say is my brother's car. One thing I'd like to have, okay? This phrase, guys, is, is what? It's a subject, subject, okay? So this phrase, guys, is working as a noun, okay? The phrase is working as a noun. Got it? All right? Because you could say Cheyenne is my brother's car, right? I mean, you could substitute it for another noun, guys, okay? All right? Because why, guys? Because we are referring, you know, this is, right? This, right? This is what we are referring to when we speak okay so therefore that is the noun okay all right i'm gonna give you more examples okay uh i could say do you think guys that this talking to you every day could be a noun can this whole phrase be a noun yes or no Can I say talking to you yes. every day is beautiful? Right? Something, guys, right? If nobody told you that during Valentine's, I'm so sorry for you. All right, anyways, so, all right, so talking to you every day is beautiful. Let me ask you something, guys. Where is the, do we have a noun here, guys? Where is the noun? Think about it, guys. Where is the noun? We need a subject, right? Where is the subject? The subject is talking to you every day. Exactly. There you go. Thank you, Giselle. You're very smart. Talking to you every day, guys, is the subject. See? And then is beautiful. Right? It's like saying, guys, he or she, right? Say she is, and then we say Beautiful, right? Okay, she is beautiful. Got it? Right? Subject, verb B, compliment, okay? Very good. Let's have another thing, guys, okay? Right? I can say... Um, tell me what is one of your favorite hobbies, um, Alexander? What would be one of your favorite hobbies? Uh, prepare coffee. What? Or make coffee? <laughs> I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Uh, you, your uh, your connection cut off for a moment. Uh, make coffee. Mm, okay, making coffee. Okay. Making so coffee. Uh -huh. make, all right. So you can say, guys, one of Alexander's. I want somebody else to answer this time, guys. Okay, Alexander's favorite hobbies okay is making coffee all right very good so guys all right uh aside from Giselle okay Giselle I know that you know the answer right uh mm -hmm. let's see let's see let's see let's see Catherine hello Catherine welcome back all right hello. so Catherine uh where is the subject in this sentence uh, Alexander's, 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 okay, <laughs> let me ask you something, how many classes do we have here, how many classes do we have, oh, bless you, Catherine, thank you, so let's see, Maria Concepcion, welcome, hello, Maria, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Hola. Hi. Hello. Uh, hey, uh, Maria, how many classes do we have here? Two? We have two? Where's the first one? Uh, one, uh, one Alexander favorite hobby. Okay, so, so what is, okay, so 
Remember, guys, thank you very much, Maria. What is a clause, guys? What is the definition of a clause? Thank you. Eric Cardoza, what is the definition of a clause? Uh, I forgot that. All right, I'll help you. A group of words, right? A group of words that what, guys? That has a subject and a verb, okay? So let me ask you something, guys. Is this a group of words? Yes or no? Yes, yes right? Does it have a subject and a predicate? Meaning, does it have a verb in between? And, and a verb, guys. Does it have a subject and a verb? Yes or no? Yes. Where where is the sub where's the where's the verb? Verb don't have. It doesn't have one. So this is not a this is not a clause. All right. This is not a clause. Okay. So where's the clause, guys? How many clauses do we have here? One. We only have one, right? See, we have the subject. So where's the subject? This is the subject, guys. One of Alexander's favorite hobbies. All right, and this guys is working as the subject. Why? Because you could, if you can substitute guys this for, I don't know. Tell me, um, Ara, no, no, Arabella, yes, Arabella. All right, tell me, uh, uh you know, a favorite art artist that you really like. Arabella. Oh, hello. Um. Um, oh yes, no, I don't understand. So, uh, give me the name of uh, an art, an artist that you really like. Uh, an artist, like a singer or a movie, you know, actor. Um, Shakira. Okay, very good, right? So you could say, guys. Can, can you say, all right, that's okay. Can you say Shakira? Is singer. Shakira is making coffee. Could you say that, guys? Guys, can you say Shakira is making coffee? Making. Yes, yes you can say Shakira is making coffee, okay? Yes. All right. So, yes, guys. Why? Because Shakira can be a subject. One of Alexander's favorite hobbies can be a subject, right? All right, if we go to the platform and we take a look at the examples that we had there, right, we would see something like this, right? We would see something like, hey, one one thing I like to have is my brother's car, okay? So then my favorite is write this down, okay? Write this down and notice, right, that this is working as a subject, then we have the verb B and then we have the object of the sentence, okay? Why? Because this is working as a noun too, guys, okay? This mm -hmm. is also, you know, working as a noun, okay? We say my brother's car, right? It's a phrase that works as a noun, and a noun can be a subject and also an object, right? The subject is, you know, uh, whoever we are talking about, and the object is the receiver of that, that information, the, re the receiver of the action. Who receives the action? Right, the, the object, okay? So do me a favor, guys. I want you to tell me one thing that you'd like to have. Okay. So everybody, all right. Actually, tell me, um, give, send me examples, okay, of two things, two things that you'd like to have. For example, right, you can say one thing I'd love, I, I'd love uh, to have is a billion a billion dollars that's something i love to have guys one billion dollars you know what is one thing what are two things guys that you'd like to have go ahead guys and send me your examples please all right let's go guys let's go send them I in the chat yes okay. tell me gloria <laughs> i'd love to have um my dream job. I don't know. Okay, very good. Okay, so you have to say it like this. Okay, one thing, 
right? One thing I'd like to have or love to have, right? To have okay. and then follow it by what you said, right? Okay. So Giselle says, one thing I'd love to have is a PS5, all right? There you go, Giselle. You're, you're such a cool person, Giselle. <laughs> you're very cool. Thank you. Okay, guys, remember to send me your example, right? I'm waiting for them because I only have Giselle's example here. One thing I'd love to have is a job in, in the U.S., in USA. The yes, reason why you say the USA is because it's the United States of America. It's a plural. Uh, it's like uh, United Kingdom, the United Kingdom, right? The United to live. It yeah, you can say in the United Kingdom, right? But usually, okay, so if it is a, a plural mm. country, country like Netherlands, right? Netherlands, you say mm. the Netherlands. Okay. If it is singular, like Mexico, you say in Mexico. Thank you. In Mexico, right? Very good. All right, very good, guys. So, uh, so let's see what are what the other examples are, okay? So I'm, I'm waiting for your examples, guys. If I want to to use a an a verb, um, mm -hmm. you can use it. <clears throat> yes. You have to. You have to to say. You have to to tell in ing form with the present continuous. Yes, exactly. With gerunds, not not present continuous. Gerund. Okay. With okay. Gerund, right. Gerund. Yes. So you okay. can say one thing I'd love to do. For example, right? We can say do. One thing I'd love to do is um, having my family, you know, nearby. Right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So having my oh, one thing I'd love to do is cutting my hair. <laughs> All right. Or you can say trimming my beard. Okay. You can do that because a, a gerund works as a noun actually. All right. Uh, then we have. Claudia, one thing I'd love to have is learning. No, then th in that case, Claudia, I, the best phrase would be, one thing I'd okay. love to do is learning to cook. Okay. And it would be even better if you said, one thing I'd love to learn is cooking. Uh, okay, okay. Yes, very good. All right, uh, Alexander, one thing I'd like to have is, is, okay. Now, here's the thing. When you say... Something like that, right? One thing I'd like to have is camera. Now, in English, Alexander and everybody, you have two type of nouns, right? You can either count them, right? Which are countable, or you cannot count them. Non-countable, okay? All right, Alexander? So for example, I cannot say infor informations, right? This doesn't exist. This, this does not exist, guys. So it's only information, right? <clears throat> so you say, oh, uh, I have information. You don't say, I have an information, okay? That doesn't exist. But Alexander, if you can count one camera, two cameras, if it has a plural form, okay, Alexander? If it has a plural, you need to use a countable. Uh, you, you need to use the uh, an article if you're going to talk about one. 
So one thing I'd like to have is a camera. Got it? For example, if I have guys in, in, in Spanish, right? You would say, tengo novia, right? Yes? Yes. All right? So if you were to translate that, how would you say that, Alexander? How would you say tengo novia? Uh, can be I am single. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. hold on, man. All right, I needed to translate it literally. Okay, I needed to translate. It. Yes. Uh, How do you say that? I have girlfriend. Okay, so you're saying I have a girlfriend. I, I have girlfriend, right? This you cannot say the, this in English. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, because you have to you have to count them. Okay, I have. So what are we missing here, Alexander? What are we missing? Uh, I have a, ah, a girlfriend, right? Article. Yes, right? Because you can have uh, a girlfriend, uh, you girl can have, right? Remember, it has a plural, right? You can say, I have two yeah. girlfriends, you have three girlfriends, right? Why right? you are a TT, right? Or no, like whoever TT is your, your, your uncle or something or or aunt i don't know I guess i don't i don't listen to reggaeton but i've heard that <laughs> all right all right very good thank you so much alexander because i would like to record videos okay now you should not be using uh, a period least... you should not be using a period after camera. yeah yeah i know right. and uh, uh when i say record video record record uh -huh, record it uh, uh -huh. all right okay. one thing i'd love to have is a better life very good good job eric one thing one thing i maria concepcion always or i'd always love to have now okay one thing you can say one thing i'd always i always wanted to have i always wanted to have you can say like this okay one thing I always wanted to have is, you know, many horses. But actually, you're saying one thing. So you need to say a horse, okay? Or, well, actually, you can say as many horses. You can say that. It's okay. All right, very good. Um, one thing I'd like to have more Okay, no, that okay. Let's go right there. One thing, okay. First of all, this should be an uppercase. One thing. One thing I'd like to have. We're missing something here, guys. What are we missing here? Is. Is right. So we're missing is very good. Is more knowledge in English, right? All right, very good. Good job, man. All right, Maria Concepcion, one thing I'd love to have is a big, bigger, it's with two Gs, bigger house, but very good. Uh, one, thing nice, one thing I'd like to have is my own business. Good job. Noah, one thing I'd love to know is, okay, we're missing the verb is. All right. Yes. Very good, guys. Okay, so I'm missing, um, I'm missing uh, Nathalie's example. I'm missing Jaime's example. Let's see. Yeah, I only have, guys, I only have Giselle, one, Claudia, two, Alexander, three, Eric, four, Maria, five, Noah, six, uh, Juan, seven. I only have seven people, guys, from with the examples. And I got 11 people today. So I'm waiting for everybody else's example, please. Okay. Now, if you already sent me your example, guys, please send me more. Okay. Continue. Right. Ask me questions if you have questions okay all right very good guys okay so if you're missing your example guys please let's keep moving on right and all right and let's talk about you know <clears throat> using noun phrases as as objects okay you can say my brother's car right notice that you can switch it around my brother's car now the object, guys, became the subject, see? The object 
became the subject, right? Mm -hmm. We follow it with the verb be, and then the subject, one thing I like to have became the object, okay? So we say, my brother's car is one thing I like to have, okay? See, if we go back, we have this, right? We have one thing I'd like to have is my brother's car versus my brother's car is one thing I'd like to have. Okay, so do my favorite, guys. If you finish, uh, if you sent me your example already, I want you to turn it around, okay? I want you to use your same example, but you're gonna use it, use the object as the subject and the subject as the object, okay? So let's go. If you're already finished sending me your examples, guys, okay, let's do that. Let's go, guys. Another example. No, no, just just uh, turn it around. Do do this, okay? See, use the, the, the subject as the object of the sentence. For example, right, if I said, right, if I said, for example, you know, one thing, right? One thing I like to have is, one thing I'd like, to, I'd like to have is, um, a new car, for example, right? So you can switch the subject and the object around, and then the phrase will become like, the, will, be, will become this, okay? It will be, you know, a new car is one thing I'd like to have, see? So this is what you're gonna do right now, okay? If you sent me the examples already, okay? Do that with the two examples that you sent me. All right, so you still, now, in that case, Giselle, we're missing something. You're missing something there. Read that and try to correct it, okay? Okay. One thing I'd like to have is my own car, right? So let's switch that over, Alexander. What do you say? I, I needed to switch it around. Switch, posi switch positions, okay? Switch uh, posi okay. positions. Mm. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go. Everybody, send me the examples, guys. All right, guys, so good job. So I got, I got a new computer is one thing I'd like to have. Very good, Claudia. Giselle, a PS5 is one thing I'd love to have. Good job, Giselle, you're correct yourself. Juan Linares, a big house is one thing I'd love to have. I'd like to have, very good. Uh, Juan Linares, a job in the US is one thing I'd love to have, very good. Giselle, Natalie, the cat's brother, is one thing I'd love to have. All right, very good, very good, All right? Um, Natalie, when you say the cat's brother, uh, do you mean a cat's yes. brother? Are you saying like, un hermano para el gato? Is that what you want to say? No, el gato de mi hermano. Okay, no, then it's the other way around. All right, my brother's cat is one thing I'd um, love to have, yes. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> All right, very good. 
All right, uh, Alexander, my my own car is one thing I would I would I would love or I would like. You're missing the verb like or love, uh, Alexander. Good job, uh, Catherine. A new job is one thing I'd love to have. Very good job, Catherine. All right, uh, Noah. A new phone is one thing I'd like to have. Very good. Speak well English is one thing I'd like to have. All right, very good. So speaking English or speaking good English, right? That would be better. Speaking good English or speaking perfect English is one thing I like to achieve, not have. Achieve. All right, very good. Very good. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Jaime. Claudia, a new college career is one thing I love to study. Good job. All right. I hope I hope you do. All right. Thank you. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right, guys. So you can notice, right? Um, you can notice, guys, that in this situation, right, what we're doing here is that we are transforming, right? We're placing a the, the position of the subject in the place of the object, right? For example, guys. If you keep sending me the examples, because if you haven't, all right, but let me ask you this. Talking to you every day is beautiful. Could you switch that around, guys? Could I say, how would I say it in a different way? How could I, how, how, how would it sound like if I switched the subject with the object? It's beautiful talking to you every day. Very good. So that would be, it is, okay? So because we need it a, is. yes. You can no. say it's beautiful or it is beautiful, right? And then here, guys, all right, because of the position, we would need to say to talk, you No, know, it is beautiful to talk to you every day, right? We would have to turn it into an infinity because otherwise it doesn't sound good, okay? It is beautiful to talk to, but, but this to talk, guys, okay? I mean, we could say talk, is, it is beautiful talking to you every day, right? We could say that, but... And it's okay, right? But it using an infinitive here is more more commonly used, okay? It's beautiful to, you know, talk to you every day. <clears throat> All right, very good. Um, how would we say this in a different way? One of Alexander's favorite hobbies is making coffee. Am I making can be mm -hmm. make coffee. Making coffee. One thing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, making coffee is mm -hmm. one thing. All right, it's one thing. Mm -hmm. Alexander. That Alexander. It's one thing that Alexander what? Uh huh. Uh, but it says Love. one of Alexander's favorite favorite hobbies, right? One of Alexander's uh, favorite um, hobbies is a favorite. Making coffee is <clears throat> a favorite. A favorite ho hobby. Mm, kind of. You're very close. Okay. How could we improve that, guys? What is the right answer? Uh, making making coffee. coffee is Alexander. Uh -huh. Favorite hobby. hobby. Alexander's very good favorite. Uh huh. Hobby, right? Making coffee hobby. is is actually one, right? One of, and then we're missing this, right? It's one of. Um, uh, Alexander's favorite hobbies, right? Very good. Making coffee is one of Alexander's favorite hobbies. Good job, good job, guys. Okay. Very good. So okay. your example, Maria Concepcion, one thing I'd like to have is better payment, okay? Or a better, right? A better salary. You would it would be better if you say, all right, one thing I'd love to have is a better salary, right? Good job, guys. Applause for you guys. Good job. All right. My high five to you. All right, very good. Do we have any questions, guys, on noun phrases? Do we all understand why they're called Noun phrases. Is that clear, guys? Clear as vodka, Petrov, 3,000% alcohol. 
All right. Very good. Okay, guys. So if we go to the platform, right, this is what you're going to see. Okay. So you have, right, one thing that I really miss, right, this is the subject, is my mom's cooking, right? And this is the object. My mom's cooking is the object, right? If I say, guys, something that I'd, I'd be nervous about is what, guys? Subject. All right. That, guys, is the subject okay now if you notice if you notice it says containing relative clauses right mm -hmm. something that i'd be nervous about okay um two people why are they called guys why does it why is it called containing relative clauses take a look at the examples here one thing let's take a look at the first one okay so right so one thing i or that I really miss is my mom's cooking. Why would it say, guys, right, that we have a noun phrase, right? We have a noun phrase, but it says that we have a relative clause containing a relative clause. And what is the relative clause that we have here? How do we, guys, guys, how do we identify a relative clause? For that. Very good. That, that, who, that, right? Very good. Now, I'm, I'm going to make this more comprehensive for you. If we have this, okay, you know, um, you said, right, one thing. One thing, Giselle, all right, would love to have is a PS5, right? Yes. All right, yes, not just yes. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so guys, where is the subject here? Where is the noun? Where, where is the whole subject? Would love. One thing that Giselle would love to have, right? Very good. Yes. Because, guys, this is, right? This is a phrase, right? This is a whole phrase, okay? That is working as the subject, right? One thing Giselle would love to have is a PS5. However, guys, remember, we have, we have a, a relative clause here, but it's invisible because, guys, Using a relative clause, I mean, using, I'm sorry, using a relative pronoun is optional in certain scenarios like this, okay? That you should have seen that in the previous um, module, okay? So, where, guys, where do we find the relative pronoun here, guys, in this sentence? Where do we find it here? Yeah. After, after one thing, after one thing, right? One thing that Giselle would love to have is a PF5, right? So, so let me ask you something, guys. Okay, where is the relative clause now? It's here that Giselle would like to have. Got it? So let's, all right, so let's compare, right? So now we know that this is a clause, right? What type of Clause is that? Remember, a clause is a group of words that contains a subject and a predicate that contains a verb, right? So do we have a subject? Yes, right? It's uh, in this case, that would be that, which is the relative, I mean, it's the pronoun that you said would lo love to have, right? And we have love, for example, right? And then we have the predicate. Okay, so then we can conclude, guys, that this right here, right? This right here is a what? How do we call this? Close. All right, it's a relative clause. Relative clause. Clause, right? Clause, not close. Clause, a relative clause, okay? Close. So far, is it good, guys? Yes. yes. Clear as Volka Petrov again? Very good. So this is a relative clause, okay? Now, where's the subject of the whole sentence, right? We know that one thing that I just said would love to have is working as the whole subject, right? But there is a, the, clause itself guys has a subject okay 
All right. So there is a subject of the class. Okay. All right. And what is the subject? One thing. One thing. Okay. So that would be one thing like this case. Okay. All right. So one thing would be the subject. Okay. All right. So you can say this is right here. The subject. Okay. All right. Subject. All right. All right. So this is the subject, right? Okay. And then, guys, we have the verb be, right? So this is this is basically the structure, guys. Okay. So then we have the. All right. We have the verb be. Over here. And then we have the object. We have the object of the sentence, okay? All right, which would be over here at PS5, okay? And this right here, guys, would be, right, the object, because it is what we. You know, who the receiver of the action, right? So this right here will be the object, okay? All right, does that make sense, guys? Yes. All right. So you could say to, for example, right? From the platform, you could say, um, okay, let's say, um, something right remember guys you can say you can say um you can use the relative pronoun or not but we do have the relative pronoun okay something tell me tell me not natalie tell me uh i don't know give me tell me something that you really really like or someone that you really, really like, a famous person, for example. About famous person? Yes. Or, so, uh, you know, something something that you really, really like. Maybe. The boys? The boys? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Something that right we can say that or not just right something that natalie really likes is the are you talking about the tv show because then that would be the boys <laughs> or you think it's like this the boys right i don't know but hold on it's just i'm asking this because you're using the article the we use the you're referring to something specific okay are you talking about the TV show, which is called The Boys, or are you talking about boys in general? Boys like a boss, uh, la boss. No, no, what are you talking about, Natalie? The boys, la, la boss. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, something that Natalie really likes is, okay, uh, The Voice. All right, very good. Like this? Okay, voice. Okay. Very it's a different consonant consonant. Okay. I thought I thought that she was talking about the TV show, right? Very good. So all right, so let's identify, guys. Identify the you know, without using this, guys. You know, without using this. Where is the relative clause, guys?
something Natalie really likes is the voice. Where is the relative clause here? Natalie really likes. Natalie really likes, exactly. There you go. All right. Yes. Okay. So, guys, the answer is Natalie really likes. Why? Because there is an invincible, an invisible, guys, relative pronoun here. Okay. Here, guys, we have that. Okay. All right. Something you can say something that Natalie really likes is the voice, or something Natalie really likes is the voice. Okay. But we have it there. It's just invisible, right? So then again, guys, we have, right? As usual, usually we have the subject, then we have the verb be, and then we have the object, right? Subject, relative clause, verb be, and then we have the object, right? Very good, very good. Okay, um, now talk to me. So I, I need, I need, um, I'm gonna give an example with who, right? Someone I really like, you know, like this. Someone I really love is, I don't know, guys, my Mexican girl, right? Some, someone I really love is my Mexican girl, for example, right? Okay, so here, guys, all right, where is the relative clause? I really. Very good. Really Why? Be because, yes, there you go. It's I really love, right? Because there is, guys, who cool. you can say someone who I really love is my Mexican girl or someone I really love is my Mexican girl, right? So we have over here, we have the, right, relative clause, right? Okay. Then we have the verb be. Then we have my Mexican girl, which would be the object, right? And then we have someone, which would be the subject, okay? Mm -hmm. And you could say, guys, right? Um, you could say, for example, my Mexican girl, you could turn it around, right? You could say my Mexican girl, like this. Mexican girl is what? How would I complete it, guys? Someone who I really love. Someone, my Mexican girl is someone who I really love or without it, right? You could use it mm -hmm. with or without, right? My Mexican girl is someone who I really love, right? Very good, very good, okay. All right, does that make sense, guys? Yes. All right, how clear is it? Clear as, as, as a chat? <laughs> okay, all right. Very good, guys, very good, okay. And this should be capitalized, guys, okay. By the way, when you see something like this, right, that would be, that should be, capitalized okay all right guys so do we have any questions guys any questions no all right okay so guys um noam giselle alexander juan claudia eric catherine jaime and natalie thank you for staying until the end all right, uh, some of you missed some classes, right? I don't know, guys, if I am going to be with you in the next module. If I do, you know, teach here in the next module, I'd love to be, you know, part of, of the class, right? Um, but thank you, guys. Uh, is there anything else, guys, that you'd like me to help you with? Right now, guys, these are the, the last minutes, right, of us together in this class, right? So. Anything I can help you with, guys? Anything that you'd like to add? We're good? Thank you, teacher, for teaching us. Uh, yes, we thank you for everything. Yes, thank you. You are the best teacher. <laughs> oh, oh. 
Thank you. 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 Thank you.